Hey everyone. I hope you're having a great day. Today in this very exciting tutorial we will be learning about how to create paper stacking effect in Premiere Pro. Let's take a look at what we are going to create. That looks pretty awesome right? Before we begin make sure to hit the subscribe button for more amazing tutorials like this. Without any further ado let's begin. Create a new project. I will name it as paper stacking. Click OK. Now we will import our stock footage by simply dragging it to the project panel like this. And drag the footage to timeline. We can now start creating our transition and effects. Select our video and go to the effects panel. Type in transform. Drag the transform effect under distort folder to our video like this. Go to effects and control panel. There we can see our transform effect is applied to our video footage. Make sure that your time indicator at the start. Keyframe the position in the transform by clicking that timer icon near the position. Now we have to place the keyframe at 1 second interval. If you don't see the seconds at the top, you can simply drag this handle to the left like this. Now we can clearly see the seconds. Place the time indicator at 1 second and drag the keyframe to it. It will simply snap right into it. Move the time indicator to the beginning. Now drag the video to the left side using position like this. Drag it to all the way until we can't see the video. Now select this keyframe and right click on it. Go to time interpolation and select the ease in. On the left side of the position you can see there is an arrow facing right side. Click it. By doing that we now able to see the graph. Select the keyframe. What you have to do now is to simply drag this handle to the left side like this. Don't worry, I will explain what it means. Since we dragged it to the left. Now, our video can come quickly from the left and slowly reaches the right side. If I play it, you will know what it means. As you see our video came quickly from the left and slowly reaches the end of the right side. That looks good. Okay, if you're wondering why I use the transform effect instead of using the default motion. That is because by using the transform effect we now able to use the shutter angle to give more depth to the animation. In the transform we can see the shutter angle effect. As you see on our video, when it animating from left to right, it looks really sharp at the edge, making it looks less professional. By increasing the shutter angle to 40, we now able to add some motion blur to it. Make sure to uncheck the use composition. If I play this video you can clearly see there is a little motion blur at the edges giving it more depth to the animation. Let's play it once more. That looks really good. Now we finished animating our transition. We can now proceed to adding our next effect. Right click on our video footage and select the nest. We will name it as stacking. The process of nesting is like creating a smart object in Photoshop. To explain it simply it's like creating a group for our video footage. Select our nest group. Go to the effects panel and type in echo. Drag the echo effect to our nest group like this. Now go to effects control panel. There we will change the blend mode in the echo operator. To composite in back. By changing that we now created a duplicated layer effect without duplicating our original video. As you see there are two video layers. One at the back is the default layer. And one from the beginning is created using echo effect. We can increase the video layers by increasing the number of echoes. 
I'm going to use for video layer, so I will enter 4 in the number of echoes. Just like that we created 4 layers with the default layer, so that there will be 5 layers in total. Now change the echo time to minus 0.100. By doing that we added a smooth animation to our transition. If I play it, you can see that we now have a clear elegant transition. If I decrease the echo time to minus 0.050, then we will have little slower animation than before. The shorter the time the slower the animation will get. We will change it back to minus 0.100. But there is one thing that we still have to add to our video to give it more depth, and that is by adding drop shadow to each layer. Go to the effects panel and type in drop shadow. Drag the drop shadow to our video layer. Go to the effects and control panel. We now added the drop shadow to our video. You won't see the shadow, because it's been hidden by our echo effect. Drag the drop shadow above our echo effect like this. Now we have our drop shadow applied to each layer giving it more depth to our transition. Increase the distance and softness of the drop shadow like this. If you increase the softness of the drop shadow too much, then the shutter angle in our video will also increase, which will end up increasing your render time. Now we will play our finished project. That looks really really good. Now we will add another video, and this time the transition will be from right to left. Drag the second stock footage to our timeline. Place it above our video track. I want this video to play right after the first one, so I will place little close to the start like this. Now we will do the same process that we did for our first animation. Add transform effect to our video. Keyframe the position, and place the first keyframe at 1 second. This time we are going to animate it from right to left. Make sure that your time indicator is at the start. Now drag the position to the right side like this. Again right click on our keyframe and select ease in. Drag the graph to the left again like this. Now we will have smooth animation. Let's play it. Yes that looks great. Uncheck the use composition. Increase the shutter angle again to 40 to give it a little motion blur. Let's play it. The motion blur effect looks good. Right click on the video and select nest. I will name it as second stock. You don't have to do the echo and drop shadow effect from start to finish. What you have to do is to simply select our first video. By holding control, select the echo and drop shadow in effects control panel. Right click on them and click copy. After you copied. Select the second video and right click on the effect control panel, and click paste. And just like that we added our effects without wasting our time, by doing it again and again. But if you look closely our drop shadow is not applied. That's because our shadow direction is in plus 135 degree. 
You just have to enter minus in front of the directions degree. And now, our drop shadow is visible. Increase the softness a little. We finished creating the effect, now let's take a look at what we created. That looks pretty awesome. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you have any doubt feel free to comment in the comment section. I will reply to it as soon as I can. If you want more amazing tutorial like this hit the like and subscribe button. It will help me to reach more people. Until our next tutorial stay happy. Thank you.